Hi, nice to see you. Uh, I became affiliated with IRA very early in my career. I was hired in 1985, my first teaching job. I was hired to teach some English classes, but as part of that first assignment, uh, I was asked to teach uh, one period of remedial reading and uh, I, I took the assignment because I needed the job, but I certainly did not know very much about reading. And so uh, I, I immediately contacted some of the veteran reading teachers in my school district, and uh, the advice across the board was the same, that if you're going to be a, a serious teacher of, of reading, that the first and foremost thing that you should do is, is join IRA, start reading the journals, start attending the conferences, and so, uh, uh, fortunately, I, I, I found myself uh, uh, connected with IRA very early in my career. Currently, uh, I'm, I'm a full-time high school English teacher at Magnolia High School in Anaheim, California. Uh, this year, I, I have four periods of seniors and one period of ninth grade. I'm in my 27th year uh, of teaching, uh, all in the same school district. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm kept pretty busy with my 165 uh, teenagers every day in addition to uh, writing uh, journal articles and uh, authoring uh, a number of books on adolescent literacy. So all of that keeps me very, very busy. So what does Celebrate Teaching mean to me? Well, I'm very glad to see IRA has adopted this as a theme for this year's convention because as someone who's been in teaching almost three decades, I, I don't think I've ever seen uh, the level of teacher bashing that's going on in our country today. So for dedicated professionals, for, for teachers who go in the classroom and work very hard to raise the reading and writing skills of our kids, I, I think we, it's nice to have a place where we can go as a convention and we can celebrate the very important work that we do. Every time I attend the IRA convention, I come away a better teacher. Uh, for one thing, every single time I go, uh, I come back to my own classroom recharged. Uh, I meet other people, we, we share, we, we attend sessions, uh, we talk about our craft, and it's next to impossible to uh, attend this conference and, and not improve your craft. So first and foremost, I think attendees will have their batteries charged and will come back to their classrooms as better teachers. Um, when it comes to the teaching of reading, I think IRA has helped me on, on two levels. Number one, it's, it's helped me approach kids who have difficulty reading difficult text. So, you know, the reason I'm in the classroom is because, you know, we teach academic text. You know, I will teach Hamlet to my 12th graders or I will teach Romeo and Juliet to my 9th graders. And uh, I've attended a number of sessions uh, at IRA over the years that have just uh, you know, made me a better teacher when I go in and teach the academic side of things. I would also say that the IRA also has been very important in that it has emphasized to me the importance of developing recreational readers, uh, an area that I'm particularly interested in and um, very concerned about. Uh, the new Common Core Standards makes no reference whatsoever, whatsoever in developing uh, recreational readers. It has no recommendations on how many books a kid should read. And it seems to me that both through the Common Core standards and just this push to address uh, district and statewide standards, that all of the focus has been on academic reading, academic reading, academic reading. And so one of the elements that I hope uh, teachers will take from uh, IRA, and one of the things that I will actually be discussing myself at IRA, is how do we go back into our classrooms uh, after the conference and reignite our students' passion to read recreationally? How do we get our kids to adopt lifelong reading habits?